according to Reese's report, you're quite the hero. And good for you. Hero or not, we cannot afford another mouth to feed. Corinth has gone from feast to famine. Ask five people, you'll get five theories. Some say we've been cursed. Others blame the local druids. Some are even calling for the town's leader, the Speaker of the Winds, to step down. But he's doing what he can. All right, the hero. Well, hey, hate to break it to you, hero. But eternal life on Eternum means eternal trouble. But if you want to help, speak with Cordomesso Agrawal. Hey, who knows? Maybe you two can fix everything, eh? Spoken to the captain, have you? He's normally not quite so dour. Although I suppose he was never a particularly charming man. It's just that Winsward has just experienced a bit of bad luck recently. But all that aside, you're still welcome in Corinth. And really, I shouldn't suggest this famine as a result of bad luck. Our town leader, the Speaker of the Winds, is entirely responsible for all this. He broke a centuries-old tradition in stopping tribute to the sorceress Medea. She hasn't been seen or heard from in decades, so many have questioned whether she even exists. Seems the speaker decided to find out. It can't simply be a coincidence. And I've heard the stories of Medea. She's not someone you cross. The question is why the damn speaker took it upon himself to cancel the tribute without consulting anyone. Absolutely not. You're a guest. I insist you check in at the inn. You came ashore in that terrible storm. I'm sure you need rest. In any case, it's my duty to talk to the man. This is my burden to bear. Welcome to the Sodom Breeze. May a gentle wind always guide you home. You wish to check in? Now, this is a pleasant surprise. Two new customers in one day. Where have you been hiding? I was afraid I'd have to go back to the beach and search for you. Not that I wanted to stay here, mind you. This hamlet's ready for a bloody wake. <laughs> Problems. I've raided tombs more lively than this place. I don't plan on hanging around here long, not when the winds are shifting the way they are. It's bad business. Whew, I managed to sell that loot we collected. Never let it be said that Grace O'Malley doesn't pay her debts. Here's your share of the coin. I think you should get to spending it. There's a trading post here. Not exactly thriving, but you could at least get yourself some new clothes. I'm telling you, this is a friend. You smell like something that washed in with the tide. Well, there you go! You can always count on me to tell it to you straight. Get yourself onto the trading post, and if you need to stash anything, there's a storage shed as well. I'll be getting the lay of the land. Here, civilization is built on a foundation of lies and greed. A flood structure that shall crumble beneath my might. See, 
doesn't spending coin make you feel more alive? Glad one of us got what they needed. I'm gonna have to find some richer places to plunder before I can get myself a boat and get off this damned rock. The real tragedy of Corinth is there's no way a girl can make some quick money around here. That daft town guard treats me like your servant, leaving me messages to give you, and not a single coin for it. He says your heroics on the shore got the attention of this so-called speaker of the winds. Sounds like a right charlatan to me. He's waiting for you in the town hall. The one watcher is lavished such high praise on. A real charging and hit him where it counts kind of fighter. We need more newcomers like you in Windsworth. Everyone around here has gone so damn soft. I suppose you've heard about the famine that's beset our lands. A crisis that demands action, not finger pointing. Some people are claiming this was the work of the sorceress Medea, but that's a load of hogwash. Of course not. That damn sorceress doesn't deserve our hard-earned goods. But that was a misunderstanding. We, we sent the damn tribute. No, I think this curse was brought on by the druids. They were the first to transform into soulless lost. I can you imagine such a tragedy? The very people we trusted to care for our crops became monsters and started this damn plague. Now entire farms and villages are falling lost. Half of Windsward at this point. No, that's the spirit. We need fighters, not whiners and naysayers. Just now, Quartermaster Agrawal's headed to the farms to salvage what he can. But he's no warrior. Go and see if you can help. Seen here is unthinkable. A month ago, the most flourishing fields in all Eternum. Now this. The Druids were such gentle people, and now they're these lost swarmancers destroying the land. I hope so, because we need it. We must get the windmills going again and then recover any sacks of grain that remain untainted. But the lost swarmancers and withered are everywhere. You're a brave soul, my friend. I'd protest if the need weren't so dire. Look for any farmers who need rescuing and bring back any sacks of grain you find. And for your own sake, be careful.
here. Did no one else come through this with their souls intact? It should have been me who fell lost. The others were newer to the island. Not as much as I'd hoped, but it's certainly better than nothing. This crane will keep us fed for a few more days at least. With the windmills turning again, at least there's hope for the future. Did you see anyone out there who hasn't become lost? 